Hello, I'm Dr. Gunam Niyabha and she is my student, Poonam Chetri, first year student. Okay, Poonam? Yes, sir. Uh, she is going to present one model about the what? Development of dizygotic twins. Development of the dizygotic twins. So they made one in a, in a, from their groups. Uh, in, in their group, they, they were 10 members. Yes? Yes, sir. From the 10, 10 members, she, rep she is representing the models and she will present about the whatever lies uh, inside the presentation of the development of the dizygotic twins yes yes sir. so she will present let's start Uno. yes sir. development of the dizygotic twins this is the model development of the dizygotic twins so here this one is a two cell stage zygote inner cell mass trophoblast these are all about the headings they have given here in the model and where from they actually made it this one things let's start punam hello everyone my name is punam chetri i am from first mbbs Defu medical college and hospital today i'm going to present the model of the development of dizygotic twins so first of all let us talk about what dizygotic twins actually are in normal fertilization or in the case of a normal development of a child, there is the fertilization of one ovum with one sperm, which leads to the formation of a single zygote, a single embryo and a single fetus. But in case of dizygotic twins, there is simultaneous shedding of oocytes, two different oocytes from the ovary, which is again fertilized by two different sperms, leading to the formation of two zygotes. Hence the name dizygotic twins. So, in this model, we can see the two cell stage here. Here is a two cell stage which is formed after the fertilization. This part here shows the development of the inner cell mass. And uh, here we can see the inner cell mass, the blue area, and the trophoblast, which is the red area outside. For after that, the chorion, the amniotic cavity, the yolk sac, everything we can see here. In dizygotic twins, what we can see is that each of the zygote takes a different place in the uterus, implants itself and gives rise to two different zygote with its own placenta, amniotic cavity, chorion and everything. The two, placenta, the two uh, zygote forms are totally independent of each other. They do not have the same DNA structure because each has its own DNA from the two different the oocyte and the two different sperms. So it can be said they are more like siblings which are born at the same time or during the same intrauterine cycle. Now in this model we can see there are two types of uh, dizygotic twins that we can see. Here the placenta, this red part here is the placenta and the blue part here is the embryo. Yes. The placenta here is not fused. It's two totally different for yes. the two embryo. But in this one, here we can see there are two embryos, but the placenta is common. As we know, the placenta is uh, the responsible for the exchange of nutrients and the exchange of blood, blood, as, blood as well. Hence, in the case of fused placenta, what we can see erythrocyte mosaicism which is when both the uh, red blood cells of the two different embryo because they have a different DNA structure so they obviously have different blood group also. So the two uh, because of the fused placenta the blood group or the erythrocyte of both the embryo exchange the placenta. So there we can see that each of the embryo has uh, two different types of red blood cells. Uh, whereas this is not the case when the placenta is not fused because if the placenta is not fused then the, each has its own independent blood diffusion act with the mother's, with the mother's body. Okay. Thank you. So this is, this is about the model. So what will you say that this one will be this and this difference? What will be the difference, basic difference? The dif basic difference between the two is that here the placenta which is a red one as we yes. can see is not fused. But yes. here they have a common placenta. 
Yes. Hence, here the nutrient exchange or the erythrocyte exchange will be independent. Okay. But here, sometimes the erythrocyte may get mixed and the diffusion of the blood cells will be different. Okay. Is there any male-female things? If there is this one is male, must be this one also male. Here also it is, uh, is this one is male or this one also must be female uh, or male like this, like that type? Uh, no, sir. Uh, that will not be the case in dizygotic twins because both the ovary, both the um, oocyte that are fertilized with the two different sperms were totally independent of each other. So, even though both the oocyte contains an X chromosome, but one of the sperm may contain an X, whereas the other may contain a Y. So, we can say there is a 50 50 ch percent chance that both may be the same gender or okay. both may not be the same. Okay, that means there is only here is that there is the blood trans uh, blood exchange may be occurs in both both the fetus. Yes, so the it may also cause some antigen antibody reaction. Okay, leading to some genetic abnormalities. Okay, um, and also in some cases, in most of the cases, we see that there is an equal distribution of erythrocyte to both the fetus. But in some cases, it might happen that one of the fetus. Uh, takes up more of the nutrition than the other so the other when the, they are born usually the one of them is weaker than the other so it might lead to some complications okay okay punam nice presentation Thanks. hope everybody will benefit by your presentation but uh, when someone will give you uh, comments after seeing the videos definitely be ready to give the question answers yes sir, sure sure Thank you so much. Thanks.